What's up, fam? It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, and we're back on our regular schedule with another StreamYard video. Today, we're going to be looking at the How It All Works August 2021 update for StreamYard, and I'm going to talk about some of my top features. Let's get into it. First thing I want to show you is a refreshed website. StreamYard has kind of done some rebranding, um, made their website StreamYard.com a little more accessible, a little more customer focused and centric. Uh, they've got something right here on the page here, kind of highlighting some of what you can do in the platform. Um, definitely some of their key pillars and and things that you want to be thinking about of course no software downloads multi-streaming all that good stuff example video from gary vanerchuk i think that's pretty cool some of their uh shows even um i, I this is one that i i followed with d and leticia but definitely uh it's a page with full of resources and in order to get to it if you have a Streamyard account is you're gonna have to go to either come out of your account log out or uh, just go in a incognito tab and go to StreamYard.com. When we go to StreamYard.com, it's going to pull up your broadcast page, which is normal, right? If you want to see this site, kind of check it out, take a look at some of the things that are there. You want to be able to go in an in a incognito tab or just log out of your account. Next thing I want to show you is the pre-recorded feature being able to broadcast pre-recorded content. And you will see here that this has kind of changed a little bit before it just said create a broadcast. Now it's got a little down arrow because there's two options. And one of them, of course, is new broadcast, which is what we're used to. Some of the functionality and features are there under use pre-recorded video as well. This is their new feature, probably one of the top ones that I am saying and recommending to all of you. Before we dive into that, I want to show you what the details are of this and who gets this feature. So we're looking at the plans page right now and I'm, I'm on the professional plan. That's why it says current. Um, you also have the business plan and, and that's something that we're thinking about. But I wanted to show you specifically this right here where it says pre-recorded streams for both the basic and professional plan. If I highlight my hover my mouse there, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but right, 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 um, right under that bottom section of that verbiage there, I'll read it for you. It says, uh, videos can be up to one hour long on the basic plan, two hours on the professional plan. So keep that in mind as you think about using this new feature. If you're on the basic plan, you can you can use this feature. Number one, it's here, pre-recorded streams. It's there under Beef Basic, but you only get one hour. If you're on the professional plan, you can also use this feature. Pre-recorded streams is here, but you do get two hours, and that is the max. So we haven't heard anything in terms of a size, but that is something critical to note is that basic and professional get these plans with the differentiation of one gets an hour, the other gets two hours. And then free, sorry, you don't get pre-recorded. That's just not part of the pre-recorded, part of the free plan. So now that we have that out of the way, let's set up a pre-recorded broadcast. This is all new, right? Let's learn this thing together. I'm gonna, there's two different types. One is an uploaded video. The other is a previously live video, right? Something you did live, you wanna rebroadcast it, if you will. So I'm gonna go here to create broadcast, click on use pre-recorded and select recording is the first option. Instead of upload, I'm gonna to go to past broadcasts. I'm gonna select my church service from yesterday. I'm gonna select both of those platforms to stream to, and then we can go from there. We will have to put a title in and a description in for either one of those platforms. And I'm recommending to everyone that if you're gonna broadcast something that was previously live and is not live now, or if you're gonna broadcast or live stream something that is pre-recorded, that you let people know right in the title because that is misleading when they think you're live when you're not and they're asking in the comments, it can become a mess. So just keep that in mind as well. So now I've put in my title and my description. I'm gonna set it to unlisted because I don't want my, my followers for my church page to be notified. Um, and then we have the schedule and announcement post. And here is where a huge difference comes in from what we're used to in terms of creating a broadcast. We click on schedule and announcement post and this announcement is going to be shared at a different time than when you go live. So the date and time that we're, we select up here in terms of when we want this to go live, let's say we've set this to uh, Thursday and we put it at, let's say we put it right at noon, right? So put it right at noon, 12 p.m. It's on Thursday, August 12th. 
that is the time that this broadcast will actually go live. But if we want to share a thumbnail, and we can actually upload that just, just by, you know, the same way we're used to, and click apply. So now we have a thumbnail and this or, or graphic that will help to advertise the event. I would even take that thumbnail and just put a big bold letters rebroadcast on it or something like that so that people can know this is something that was previously live. But yeah, this is when you would share that announcement post. And that is that would be, let's say, maybe we wanted to share it tomorrow morning um, at 10 a.m. And, and that would be fine. Uh, just, we would just have to set that time. And so that would share on t August 9th, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And the broadcast start time is um, on Thursday at noon. So you have to differentiate between those two start times. And then once you have that, you can click on create and schedule broadcast. After that thing finishes circling, it's ready to go. Here comes the second type of broadcast that we want to set up. And that is when we click here to use pre-recorded, select recording, and this time we're actually going to click to upload a video. And um, once we have that uploaded from the computer, I'm going to select my Alter Live Academy video. Once we have that uploaded from the computer, we'll start to fill out the description and the title as we did before. So here now we have put in our title, our description, we've put in our announcement flyer, and, and this is a pre-recorded video, it's never been aired before, so I don't necessarily need to say rebroadcast, but you might wanna say pre-recorded, as you can see here in this section of my t title and in my description, I have pre-recorded here so that everybody can know this is not a live video. And so I've selected some times here in terms of when I want this to go live, uh, what, when I want this to start. So let's say we're going to want put this uh, for Wednesday at 9, let's say 9.30 in the morning, and we will do our announcement uh, maybe it's from the same time. We'll do 9.30 on Tuesday. And once we have those two times set, time to start the video, time to actually uh, uh, share the post that's advertising the video, right? The announcement post is what it's called, that those two things will be done and we would click customize for each destination and we'll go straight through. So now we're here on my desktop again. We have that uh, pre-recorded video scheduled. I'm gonna take a look at the status of it. And we're looking at the status and you can see here, I can view it on Facebook. I'm going to click to continue past that warning and here it is ready to go and I've, I've actually sped up the time I wanted to you to be able to see what it looks like when we get into that five minute window so now that's what that piece looks like and it's ready to go and it's notifying everybody that there is a live video coming now that video is actually live and we're going to click on check status again and this is the screen that you'll get you can just make sure that you have the green check marks next to the destinations that you wanted to go live to and then you can go and check i'm just going to go to my public speaker page and here is the video and it's good to go it's streaming uh as if it, I were live, you can see that it says live there for Facebook, but this is a pre-recorded video that I have in my system. So now we've gotten our, our pre-recorded stuff out of the way. I wanna show you some of the other features. Uh, one is infinite scrolling comments. You can go through and look back as far as you can look for comments. You can actually scroll through them now. And they haven't rolled this out to every account just yet. They've rolled it out to some. I'm actually looking at my broadcast for my church from yesterday. And so I can see some of those comments that are still there. Um, but you imagine being able to go back through and look at your comments, uh, be able to pull out those comments where somebody was asking a question, maybe use that for content to create for your channel, uh, maybe even use that to be able to follow up with a winner or something like that. Having the ability to go back through your comments is a great feature, so I'm glad that StreamYard has heard our cry on that one. Another little quick little hack that I learned from my good friend Melanie Diane Howe is, imagine you know, you're up here, you, you put this comment on screen, and now you're kind of scrolling around, you're like, wait, where did that comment go? I, the, the comments are moving too fast. If you hit the space bar, it'll take that thing right off of the screen. And if you hit the space bar, it'll do it again. And I've noticed that that, that seems to work well does not work if you click away though. So if I were to put this one up and go to the brand tab, hit the space bar, nothing's happening. Go back to my comments, 
still nothing happens. So you've got to stay on the screen for you to be able to use that little hack that we have there. So keep that in mind as well. The last feature is one of my personal favorites as somebody who has OCD. Um, it's, it is definitely one that I have been asking for for a long time. It's still not quite exactly what I want, but it is the ability in the overlays and video sections to be able to organize them, to be able to drag them around and organize them. I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate the ability to do this because in terms of my show flow, I like to have things in a specific order. And if I know, you know, basically what my run sheet is, I know which which overlay I'm gonna need at a specific time. So having the ability to kind of move overlays around, uh, move video clips around, and even move uh, backgrounds around have is is really is really beneficial and again helps us in terms of organization for your live stream. So kudos to StreamYard for adding that one to the list. So there you have it, man. Listen, I'm excited to see what you guys are gonna do with pre-recorded content and pre-recorded videos. Um, man, there's so many different things that are happening around how it all works, around cur my, my brand and everything that we're doing here on YouTube. I wanna make sure that you guys are checking out kirkrnugent.com. Um, make sure that you're looking at our uh, packages. We have the graphics package for sale on there. We have a course for sale on there. And so we want to make sure you guys are aware of that. We also have uh, some things that are available in on buymeacoffee.com slash Nugent. That's where we're doing our membership. And you can get to that from the website, kirkarnugent.com. And if you want, there's actually even a Facebook group. If you go right down to the bottom of the main page, you'll see that Facebook group is there. Uh, but in order to get to that Facebook group, you do have to go through uh, our membership page, which is buymeacoffee.com slash Nugent. Um, really want to make sure that you guys are aware of those things because we want to engage with you. We've got a lot of stuff coming down the pike to help you amplify your voice. StreamYard is doing amazing work. Ecamm is doing amazing work. Canva, all these different platforms, and that's the mechanics of it. But if you really want to know the intangibles, right, not necessarily the tech piece, but how can I take my idea, my uh, vocation, my skill set, my my expertise and really amplify it and share it with the world in a way that is impactful and meaningful? How can I find my tribe and really answer their question? Those are the things that we're going to be sharing in a little bit closer knit community with membership, with the Facebook group, and of course, through courses that we're doing on our website. That's it from me for this one. Excited to be able to produce this kind of content. And I'm also looking forward to your comments. So make sure you get to type in and, and look for a response from me. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher. Hoping it's somewhere in the video today, we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.